Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farms. Folks, how y'all doing? Oh, that's good. In case you're new, it's your host, but not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Alright, well, a lot of people are going to say these machines are not real. I don't know if it's a UK, Australia, or where, but I have seen these, um, you know, on YouTube videos. That's not not a game, not a game. Real life YouTube videos. Um, straw comes out the side here, on each side. I think. I think if you're chopping it, it comes out each side. But if you're just wind rolling it, it comes out on one. We're going to find out. The hopper's back here. The motor's up there. But the exhaust comes out. Uh, back corner over here. Plus we got a hitch here. Almost looks like. If I had a PTO coming out of that. We could haul a green buggy. That's a little too low. But yeah. But anyway. We're going to get these fired up. I just realized I have a contract. Here on field one to cut this canola. So I'm going to send this first one on our field. And go ahead and get the other one in this gentleman's field. And we're going to make some money while we're making some crops of our own. Alright. You want to see the cab? We have a buddy seat here. A tow box or cubby hole up there. Nice radio, some speakers. Some fancy buttons to push, and more fancy buttons to push. Let's get her fired up. Ooh. I hope I got it, the volume just right where y'all can hear that. It almost sounds like a... Let me shut this off to start it back up. Almost sounds like a GT Mustang starting up. Well, anyway, anyway, let's make sure there ain't no cars coming. Get out from under this power line here. But this is the first articulate combine that I've ever seen and never saw. That made it seem any sense. All right, we're going to unfold this baby. I guess I could put the hood back up, huh? Whoa, I don't want the pipe coming out. All right, this is a uh, wheat, so I do want to lay down. Uh, disabled strong. Look like it's already on, so that's good. Let's fire this baby up. Y'all hear that turbine kick in? All right, let's see what we got. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I think these got GPS on them. <clears throat> uh, we want to go north and south. 64, is that right? I hope that's right. No offset. Do that a couple times because I want to snap the train angle. Okay, and I need to move that over. <clears throat> about right there. And I see uh, if everything's going to go right. All right, here we go, folks. Okay, Stroud's going out to our right side. Awesome. Are we going to come pick a straw up later? We're leaving the stubble kind of high. Okay, I see right now our... Well, I guess it's working somewhat. Just thicker there in the middle. Alright, we're going 
Dude, it's supposed to hold 120,000 liters after Big Ben, huh? What, zero cows up there? Mah. Hey, I see Betsy. Other Betsy, too. I'm just going to take these up to her truck and make sure we can unload and everything and um, our worker then we're going to get the other combine and of course get that gentleman's field done for him actually we got several contracts I just don't want to go in that screen right now because I do it'll auto save and it takes like a good three minutes for an auto save to go through yes folks it, it takes that long But we got our cotton planters over there by the pig farm, along with our fertilized buggy and uh, our tractors and stuff, cultivators, field cultivators. All right, so far so good. Everything is running good. I mean, super quiet in the cab. Alright. I've got massive reverse right now. Try to not make that straw too big. Unfold her pipe. Everything's looking pretty good, folks. I won't go ahead and shut the header off. So what we got out of that? Uh, 15,388. That bad for considering. Oh, don't turn your GPS on when you're pulling up to a trailer. It empties out pretty fast. That's good. Alright, I'm on. Um, I know I'm probably going to regret this and I'm being that close, but I'm going to take them over here next to the road and uh, hire a worker. Go from there. Oh, I should have dumped. I should have dumped in the front one. Breaks on this is not too good. All right. I love the sound of that turbo kicking in. All right, we got a hired worker, which is Betty. I still haven't changed the names, folks. I'm, I'm slacking. All right. I'm gonna let Betty do this field. Don't see that much wheat on the ground, so we're doing pretty good. I wish that was a thing in, in farming sim. You can actually look and see a few of the corn cobs and stuff there. All right, we're gonna oh, go to the wrong machine. And switch over to the header. Let's see. I think I'm going to back up and start over this side. But yeah, they wanting us to do a demo, so we are paying for like a leasing cost on these. Which, hey, you know, we don't have to pay full price. Which we'll see that price, I guess. Uh, Go in there real quick while it's unfolding. Go over to the combines. And this is going to be all the way over to the end. Now we're just going to try different ones too. Oh, right there it is. Try buying what? T1000. 
Uh, basically, simply, this, get, this is the color it comes. I figure orange would be a little bit better. Um, this the GPS, and that's about it. All you get on it. Uh, yeah, Hearn. Hearn twenty thousand. Uh, has a lot of, a lot of zeros, but yeah, you can see six hundred fifty thousand just for the machine. And the headers. Yeah, be careful. I went past it last time. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, we have two. It says case Terraflex. It's 19.6 meters, 12 mile an hour. Um, but yeah, I guess case makes some big headers. Also, we got a big corn header to go with it, too. Uh, I'll show that real quick. Uh, we don't have no uh, corn right now, so we won't be testing those out. Did I not install it? Oh, I'm glad. Uh, right, we don't have no corn because I forgot to install it. Um. There we go. The header down. I better have access. This guy wants me to. There you go. You can see how the straw goes out both sides. But I'm just going to hire a worker right now for this, and then we're going to go check the other one. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> That's what I thought. And I'm gonna go across this in here. You know, this wide with 12 mile an hour, that's pretty, pretty good there. Now, I didn't mean to kill the header. Yeah, I'll shut the beacons off. We don't need them right now. But I don't know if we'll use the auger wagon very much with these because much they hold, but imagine we will a little bit, you know. Alright, our worker back. Our worker. There we go. And he seems to be done pretty good. I'm pretty sure he'll probably get this whole feel in one go with that big old hopper. But with the, the wheat, folks, you can go into the XML file and the only thing about it, you can, you can set your height for your wheat, how it wants to be cut with the header. Which all wheat's probably about like that. They just cut, cut the tops off. But the uh, other headers kind of wish he would go straight through. We might do that. Let them go straight through. Just de higher. Pull up a little bit and higher again. Or did he miss him? Oh, he got it. Okay. Now, I'd like to cut that road out, but I don't know. 
it's nice having it there, but I like to fix it where the equipment would go straight over it like they do in real life. But I'm up to 15 minutes. Let me uh, make a round with this and I'll bring you back. Um, I'm just curious to see how they're going to do and everything. And... Yeah, so be back in a little bit, folks. All right, I just want to bring you back. We're about three quarters away full. I got the ends caught up over there, so we're going straight up and down. And I figured, you know, down across the end, my wheel go down this this way. I'll show you what the canola fields look like. It's this in here, and that over there that makes an L shape. Those are ready. So yeah, we got lots to uh, lots to get done. And pay no attention to the tire tracks I had. That's where I accidentally went out in the field, went and thinking this crop's been took the second stage. And yeah, uh oh, a piece of canola over on this side. It shouldn't do nothing to it. Real life, it would. There we go. It just. And we're going to have to start getting the cows cleaned out when we get done with harvest. Between that and, and uh, tillage. Stop. Stop, stop. Shaking that booty. Shake, 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 shake that booty. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. Alright. Chickens are starting to produce eggs pretty good. Uh, and oh my goodness, the the sheep, the wool, their winter wool is coming off pretty good too. <sighs> my homestead, I didn't enjoy my outside furniture, I ain't done that yet. Been too busy cutting down trees. Speaking of, I got a load over it that needs to be sold. Yeah, I guess, uh, hmm, guess I could do a speedy around the barn. Do y'all like the speedies? Sometimes I do, and other times finding music for them. Oh yeah, I forgot our guy on the, the contract is blocked by something, so I'm going to have to we're going to get this back on the worker. I don't know if I can fit through there. Shut this header off for a second. I'm going to get over here and uh, let hard worker go behind my house a few times. Yeah, I wish you could control the fold on this. That way, in case you're going around a bush or something. This thing's kind of fast, too. Quit locking on GPS. Alright, well, hire a worker. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Do this so we won't skip none. There we go. How in the world? No wonder you're blocked. Who was driving that? I should have looked to see who was driving that. 
How do you, oh, that's how you got hung up in the tree. The collision. All right, I'm probably going to finish this out, and uh, I will bring y'all. Oh, let's skip some. Bring y'all back here in a little bit when I get closer to done, so y'all can see the outcome of all everything. So yeah, be back in a minute. Well, folks, <sighs> he didn't get into the long rows. He got fill, filled up on the or yeah. His grain tanks got full on the far end down there, so I'm gonna have to. Well, that's gonna be rough going across that. The only thing about going across the field roads when you're putting down straw. But yeah, we gotta go unload him. And uh, the other one's just 34%. So 41,000, almost 42,000 liters of canola. And, uh, yeah. Because we got a lot, lots of wheat. So, means our, our chickens are going to be fed quite a bit along with uh, making seeds. go around this pile mm, hope the neighbors don't see that all right and then you see it's full it don't go all the way to the top like I thought it would But this thing ain't going to hold no 120,000 either. What do we hold? 45,000. Oh, wow. Alright, maybe that'll be enough to get on down to the end. Well, folks, I'm going to cut it off here. Wow. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Might get a little screenshot of this. What about right there, maybe? It'd be better if uh, it was still unloading when I took it. But yeah, um, I'm probably going to do some of this. Maybe not all of it. The sum of it off screen and then uh, next episode we'll finish up I'm already about 23 minutes in I just I don't want to make them too long you know and let's see here turn that on lower that down and I don't know I have to oh 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 big big lump there uh, hired worker back. Uh, do that. Hey, my pipe didn't come out. Cool. Uh, we're only halfway. We might be able to get down there. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go uh, unload this. Probably try to get these little end pieces right here done. And, uh, We'll start up next episode over in there. Now this is where I should have had course play interlocked or, or already, you know, made courses where uh, it would find a combine and unload them and take them back to the grain truck. But I could just be, you know, a little less lazy and just move the truck down here, but two uh two loads from this grain cart and a piece maybe a, a half our trucks hold a hundred thousand put it that way oh please don't hit nothing to my house not my fence or anything 
I'm trusting you over there. Oh yeah, we're up to a million and twenty-three thousand um, dollars. Which that, that's nothing because I need uh, eighty thousand. Eighty thousand? No, eight hundred thousand times two. So it's what one point six million. If I do my math right. Something like that. But anyway, folks, I, I'm, I'm going to get off of here. And uh, we'll do more harvesting in the next episode. Alright. Y'all have a good day. A blessed day. Oh, y'all have a great day. A blessed day. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.